<laughs> Aside from from the Sephiroth speech patterns, yeah, uh, low key based, <laughs> yeah, yeah, low key based. I, I'm kind of he kind of spitting, and and he he could tell because like, Keso is I. I Honestly, I kind of incited it because I was like, my boy Kato is probably going to destroy you, man. But, like, good luck. Oh, and, dang. And, and yeah. he, he, like, turns to me, and, and I was just pool captain nah, as that well. that was personal. And he's, like, <laughs> and, and he's just like, it was a smile on his face. It was friendly. But he's, yeah. like, he's like, I got your boy. I'm the justice for the skipped unranked player, or unranked DKs. And I'm like. Yeah, so, so we're in a button check right now. Uh, looks like uh, we're going to get. Oh, like like we were promised, DK versus Fox. You were saying that J Rad had a history of playing a different character prior. I think J Rad was a Fox player for a while. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think so. Don't I, know. I would not want to do a Fox Ditto versus Panda. So. <laughs> yes, that's. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, that might be the thing I've agreed with most out of everything you've said today, and I've agreed with a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you do not want to do a Fox Ditto yeah. versus Panda? Yeah, he's, seems ill advised. He's uh, you know, I always liken his. Um, mannerisms when he plays to that of like a conductor. You're going to see him leaning forward and his head is, is tilted downwards. It looks like he's trying to will great works of music and art. Yeah, shout and out to Panda. That's my coach. Honestly, uh, we did a crew battle at the Players Ball in Georgia at the end of last year after Dream Hack Atlanta and we won the crew battle. <laughs> so, so we strike to Fountain, which honestly I don't know like what the what the thinking is, right? This is I I certainly know enough about DK and Fox, but the minutia of the matchup here in the stages maybe less so. That is that's above my pay grade. Yeah, um, I feel like DK does damage to Fox. Yeah, I feel like this is like kind of a net positive for DK, right? You get the high ceiling, 163% is not going to protect you, but you do end up surviving for longer. Actually, another little fun fact about Donkey Kong is that uh, the three fastest followers in the game are Fox, Falco, and Falcon. The fourth fastest follower in the game is Donkey Kong. There you go. I had no idea. I don't know anything about DK other than just don't touch the shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shielding is uh, rough, but even then we've seen uh, Light Shield pay big dividends for DK players these days. So. Sure. Uh, a lot of great optimization. I love that up out of shield. Yep. That one's hard to land against Fox because True. Fox is too short a lot of times to get hit by it. So recognizing that Fox was uh, inside enough of the character model of Donkey Kong to be able to get that up -beat. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Great DI. And a great drift. But it ain't going to be enough. Yeah, not enough, so... A couple of clean back airs are going to clean out that stock. Another nice thing is that at these low platform heights, the up B out of shield is also really strong with box above you on the platform. And these juggles are brutal. I love that little hack smash pack onto the, onto the ledge. That was nice. Board smash going to clear it out. Not a good enough angle. Okay. Yeah, the repeated up airs is, is incredibly threatening. But Panda skilled enough at maneuvering. This looks doable for J-Rad, though. Uh, if, anyone, if anyone's going to do it, I feel like J-Rad might have what it takes. I think right now, it is been <laughs> all these up throws are, are brutal right now. And we're on that part of the stage where it's like a mini FD, but that left platform finally raised up and unfortunately dropped down a little bit too low, unable to grab the ledge, and that's going to be the first game. And where do we go? We're going to the stadium. Interesting choice. I see the vision. Uh, you can kill easily off the top. With FD was probably banned, and this is your next best shot, I think. Yeah. Platforms are low enough to where you can get that up beat, uh, like we've talked about before. And just in general, not having to deal with the tri platforms, you've got more opportunity to really extend out your up air juggles across the length of the stage without them having the top platform as an escape option. Ledgehog's going to do it, though. <laughs> The side B. I wonder if that was intentional because that might have cooked. Oh. I was not aware that you could wave shine Donkey Kong. 
Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, he's heavy, uh, does not get knocked down uh, in uh, the traction. It's a combination of weight and traction, because if you're too light, you get knocked down like Fox does, right? Yeah. Uh, if you have too much traction like Luigi, you get sent too far away. So it needs to be high enough weight and low enough traction. Or high enough traction. It has, it needs to be high traction. Less slippy. Okay. We got his knock. We're in there, J-Rad. We, we are certainly Ooh. in there. Oh, and we're out of there, actually. Yeah, I... Okay, I, we're back. Saw Panda use down tilt a few times uh, in this match. Not using it for the edge guard, which I kept on expecting there, but doesn't matter. Going to get the up smash, and that's going to be down to the last stock for Donkey Kong. Ooh, this could be big. Big juggles, big bucks, no whims. Oh. Beautiful up -y. such good reaction. You yeah. see, at 58%, Fox was, like, had to recover back onto the stage. Yeah. The shorten might have not been a good idea. The shorten might have gotten him punished there. And, oh, <laughs> what a what a spooky dash dance right in front of Donkey Kong. Off the top, not quite. Got the invisible shine, a little, little swagger. Yeah, just to, just to show the, the folks back home. Just, just to remember that I'm kind of nice, that I like to do the fancy stuff sometimes. That was a quick 2-0. That was a quick 2-0. That was a super quick. Definitely saw a lot of experience coming out uh, from Panda's end of things. Uh, some, some good work by J-Rad, uh, working some of the some of the punishes, the up air juggles with Donkey Kong, but and a really good reaction on that up B. Uh, so we got the final match of the evening coming up. It looks like. We are getting close to the end, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers of all kinds. Indeed. Who do we have coming up here? Who's? Oh, that. that oh, was never the mind. Final that was match. the final My one. My apologies. Uh, so it looks like uh, we don't have any more melee for you but after almost four hours. After almost four hours, but we're going to be back tomorrow with the top thirty-two. Both we're of gonna, us. We're going to be yes. here. Yeah, you it's going to be a great time. More of our lovely face. Could you, for the viewers at home, let them know how they might be able to reach you if they wanted to follow you on social media or get in contact with you or anything like that? Hello, everyone. It's me, Nate. I go by Florida's favorite commentator and also my name, Nate. But you can find me on Twitter at Tilt Slam Bam underscore. Tilt Slam Bam underscore. And That's I right. am Ziff. You can find me on Twitter as the XIF. And I would love to hear from you. I love I, I love people. Yeah. I love Smashers. I love being a part of this. Tell us we did a good job. Tell I, us we did a bad <laughs> job. Uh, but be respectful. Hopefully. Or <laughs> don't. I mean, uh, it's, you know, we say can't whatever control you want. You, but yeah. please, I'm delicate. I will cry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's been an awesome, awesome time. I'm so glad that I got to do this block with 